Hello. Welcome to Rifle Online. I'm your host, Sean. I have been waiting for this for a while. Got a nice unboxing here today. Kind of see what it is. So this, uh, this came to me from Germany. And uh, let's see what's in this, unfortunately, quite damaged box. I hope. I hope it's in good shape. But the box is... Uh, Box is shot, and like I say, it did come a long way, so. Hopefully it's packed well. well thank goodness. Looks like where the box was crushed. It didn't uh, didn't affect the uh, the second box. So, I've been wanting to try out a Harley Benton uh, for some time. I mean, they get such good reviews. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to check this thing out. So it's, it looks like it's packaged well. Let's see what kind of candy we got here. Huh. Well, we got the um, Allen screws, or excuse me, Allen wrenches. Looks like one for the truss rod and one for the bridge and a battery, which I wasn't expecting. Ooh, oh, this is looking nice. I mean, I, it gets a, it gets very good reviews. So far, just by barely looking at it, I can tell you it looks nicer than I expected. Not that I expected it to look bad, but yeah, look at this beast. So, uh, this is Harley Benton, six string fretless bass. I will be 100% honest, I have never played a fretless bass, let alone a six string. I don't even know if, uh, if I can. We will find out. This has a push pull for passive active, and uh, it does have a preamp. If you use it in the active active mode, this is where the battery goes. Oh, that's a nice little battery compartment. Can't mess it up. First impression, I, I mean, the fit and finish is really nice on this. Um, the panel back here, eh, it looks like this couple of screws are a little crooked, you know, but that's about as minor as you can be. I got a little scratch back here, but again, super, I don't know, it's kind of wiping off. Man, that is a beast of a neck. 
this is a good looking instrument and it, it's far lighter than I expected it to be, I have to say. Um, I expected it to be extremely heavy. Let's see here if it's going to be any neck dive. Ooh, I don't think so. Very nice looking fretboard. That is one wide neck. All right, so let's uh let's take this over to the bench and see what it's all about. I want to change the strings before I even play it, and I say play, I mean attempt to play because who knows? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be successful with this at all. It does, thank goodness, have you know dots so I can see where to go, or hopefully I can. This is, this is very nice though. The Harley Bentons, uh, you know, are known for quality at, uh, at, a, at a reasonable cost. I think that's what we have here. We'll put this over on the bench and take a closer look at it, okay? And uh, get it all set up and I will, uh, I'll attempt to play it. We'll see. All right. Here it is in all its glory. My new Harley Benton fretless six string. Took a little while to get it from Germany. But uh, so far I'm pretty impressed. So the first thing I want to do is, uh, is change the strings. I know I don't want these strings on it. Looks like the, the fretboard could use some conditioning. So I am going to do both those things right now. Um, I want to make sure that the neck is straight and stuff. It, it looks to be, and actually it looks to be set up really well. Got a nice little sticker in there too. I like it. Okay, so let's start out with um, just changing these strings, okay? I got these uh, DR fat beams. I generally use GHS boomers, but they're, they just don't make them in a medium uh, for a six string that I could find. Cause I want them to 45 to one, 105 for my main four strings. So it feels like what I'm used to. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna replace these and I'm gonna condition this fretboard. I have never used DR strings, I, I'll be the first to say. Although these strings don't feel horrible. I mean, they really don't. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. I, I, uh, I know I'll be happier with... Uh, with the gauge I'm used to, especially since I don't know what I'm doing. But I am gonna, ooh, I'm gonna hang on to these strings because I may need them. And they don't, I, I mean, a lot of times strings that come on basses and guitars are just, just crap. And, and I don't know what kind these are, but they don't feel bad, I have to say. But the, uh, this is a, a 100 on the uh, E string, and I really just, I want at least a 105, because I'm going to be tuning this a step down anyway. So we're going to try to get it all set up. I'm going to try to get the intonation set. Oh, good luck there. I'm more worried about my personal intonation when I'm playing it. Good luck there as well. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm just able to adapt and um, make some good sounds with this. I know it's going to take some practice, but uh, that's okay. I like to play. So first impressions, the, um, the tuners don't feel like they're the greatest, but they feel stable. 
Um, so we'll, you know, we'll see how how they how they go. The fretboard looks a little uh, a little dry. I'm gonna I'm gonna condition that. The nut is cut okay, but it's not beautiful. I mean, there's some I could file it a little, but we're I'm gonna see how how it works with these strings and see if I have to open it up any. It is uh it looks to be just a plastic nut, which you know that's fine. Uh, my first venture into the six string fretless realm so i didn't want to spend a whole lot of money in case well a in case i just couldn't do it and uh i i wanted to get something that i thought at least would be playable and decent and right now i have to say this has surpassed you know what what i thought it would be my expectations um were lower than than what i see here which is a good thing. That's, you know, that's always good. Hopefully the pickups and, and all work. I didn't even check that. I haven't checked anything, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to restring it, set it up, which I don't, again, it seems to be set up very well. And I don't really know what kind of setup I want on a fretless bass because I've never played one. I love the sound of them though. But do not expect me to bust out like Tony Franklin or something when I when I plug this thing in because it ain't gonna happen. Man this is a wide fretboard. <laughs> Woo! I don't know if I'm gonna be using this in rifle much. You know, I, well, first off, let's see if I can even play it. But um, um, we're getting ready to release Progject, which is prog music that we uh, we wrote and released. And we're still releasing it as Rifle, but we're calling just the record Progject. And we're going to do another Progject record, and uh, I, I want to use it on that. And I want to write some uh, some extreme metal riffs on it too. So we'll see. I mean, I may end up using it some in rifle. Uh, I just don't know. Again, I think first things first. Let's see if I can even use it at all. It is a nice looking bass, though. It. I, I don't know what I expected. I mean, the pictures don't do it justice. The pictures on the website. Um, you know, I, I mean, I thought it was going to be okay. It looked okay, but looks way better in person all right so first things first let's see if this neck is straight um i mean of course this is notched i don't need notches it looks to be straight though oh yeah, yeah. it's got a tiny bit of tiny bit of back bow just a tiny bit i'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> I'm gonna pull that and make sure that the uh, the truss rod's working fine. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but you know, I like to check those things before I get in get into anything else. Once again, the, the construction seems really, really solid. All right, two truss rods. This is what I thought. Let's make sure that they both work. I'm gonna just double check this. Yeah, it has just a tiny bit of back bow. I think it would be fine, but I wanna get it straight before I set it up. So, here. All right. So yeah, everything seems to move. That's good. I'll take a little pressure off. Both of them. 
Yeah, just about a quarter turn. Uh, this, it's a little, let me show you this. It's a little messy in the truss rod area there. A little bit of paint, but you know, I mean, no one can see it. Otherwise, though, I mean, everything seems to be working very well. All right, let's see where that puts us. Still just a little bit of back bow. So I'll be the first to admit, I don't know how to set up a fretless. We're going to learn together. I've also never worked with two truss rods. So I understand the concept. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting right where I want it to be. I don't know if this, these are dual action truss rods or not. I think I'm just going to leave it at this. Yeah. Oh, that's looking good. I think that's good. I'm not going to mess with it anymore right now. I'm going to keep this off though in case I need to adjust it after the strings are on. Just the best idea in my in my experience. So let's um, let's start out with conditioning this a little. I don't know what type of uh, what type of wood the fretboard is made of. A lot of fretboard to condition. <laughs> I used to one this big. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lemon oil on and let it sit for a couple moments. I think it'll soak it all up pretty quickly. It, again, it looks pretty dry, but you know it was made in China and uh, shipped to Germany and then shipped to here, so. I'm sure it went through a lot of uh, temperature changes. And with that, I did, uh, by the way, I left this in the case in my basement, or in the box, I should say, for uh, about 24 hours, just to make sure that, uh, make sure it climatized fine. And I don't know if I really had to leave it that long, but this was the best time for me to, to do this anyway. That's already looking a lot better. Again, I mean, I don't know how dry this really actually is, but it looks pretty dry and it sure does seem to be soaking this up fast. So, I'm going to leave it at that, give it just a moment here and I'll wipe it off. I'm going to put these strings on and I'll try to check the intonation, etc. Wish me luck on that. Okay. So I've let this sit for yeah, five, ten minutes. I'm going to wipe off the excess. And there really isn't much. I don't think there would be. That looks a lot better though. That's, that's really a pretty nice looking fretboard, I got to say. You know what? 
Well, again, I'm actually surprised it came with a battery. I, I had some batteries for it, but I'll stick this one in. Let's do that real quick, because I'll forget. Uh, I've never had an active bass or guitar. Played a few, you know, I've never been that keen on active. I like passive stuff, um, but it may be the way to go with a fretless, especially a six string, I don't know. I want the option to do both though, and I'm glad this does give you the option to go passive. I don't know which way it's gonna sound better. Um, a lot of that, I assume, is gonna depend on the way I play and my amplifier. All right, there we go. Batteries in, that was easy. It's an okay looking bridge. The hardware, I yeah, am pretty, pretty impressed with, like I say, the tuners seem a little, I don't know. They seem stable, so I'm just gonna go with that and you know, hopefully they're gonna be fine. I'm not used to those small tuners. I'm used to, you know, big Fender style tuners. So it's all new to me. All right. there so I have enough wraps but hopefully not too many and my base winder here I think it'll fit should I might have cut it too long, to be honest. I don't know what we're going to see. Eh, maybe not. All right. I'm going to go with that for now. Let's see how it goes. Bear with me, because, again, I, I just honestly don't know what I'm doing. Looks like I'm not going to have to cut the nut or anything, I, I don't think. For now, we're not anyway, and if I have to go back in and do it, then, you know, we will. Looks like it's going to be okay. And it may take me, you know, let's be honest, it, it may take me a few, few weeks to kind of figure out exactly what, uh, what I want out of this as far as setup goes being completely new to fretless bass let alone six string this thing is a beast though and it's a huge neck glad i have long fingers i like the headstock too um It's just an overall good looking bass. I, I the aesthetics I, I really I really like. You know, which is that's coming from me who mostly only likes P basses. But uh, yeah, I, I like it. Uh, I think most six strings are ugly, and I figured this one would be. I, you know, I didn't care. I wanted the six string. I don't know why. I have been obsessing over six string fretless for months. And it just hit me. I've never ever had the desire. To, um, to play a six string or a fretless really. I mean, I've kind of on and off 
thought about a fretless, but never thought about a six string. I don't even know why it popped into my head, but I just felt like I had to do it. I had to have it um, for whatever reason. You know, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't shake it. So I thought the universe was just telling me something. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Worst case scenario, no, I just, I won't like it or I won't be able to master it and I, I'll sell it. Um, it will have some resale value since it's, you know, I know Harley Benton isn't the, um, the most sought after brand, but it is a good, a good name brand. That's uh, about right there. So I know at least I can get some resale um, value out of it if I need to. Although I'm hoping that's not the case, you know, I really, I want to be able to master it. So I, I plan on working hard to do so. And I, again, I've, I've been wanting to try Harley Benton, a Harley Benton product anyway. Um, I didn't necessarily know at first it was going to be this, but yeah. the, uh, the Toman website was uh, very user friendly, I have to say, so easy to order and, uh, They kept in contact with me. This ended up being on back order for a little bit, which was fine, you know. I had some other options I could have went with, but uh, say I've been wanting to wanting to try Harley Benton anyway, and I just went with this. And I wanted to make sure, again, I got something that I knew, I, you know, would have some kind of resale value if. It just didn't work out for me. So I have seen some no name, basically, well, I'm sure they have some kind of probably probable name, but some no name stuff on Amazon, six string, you know, fretless bases that were inexpensive. And I'm like, ah, you know, I don't want to get something that just is, I'm going to have to work on so much to make it playable. And then no one's gonna want it if I end up not wanting it, so. There are a couple Ibanez um, six string fretless bases that I really like. I didn't wanna spend, you know, I said I didn't wanna spend a grand or more when I didn't know. Um, also, there is a, a company called All In One Wolf, all in one and Wolf, they're I guess one in the same. Uh, it's from all in one music store in LA, I believe. And they uh, they have a pro 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 uh, sorry proprietary brand, which is all in one or Wolf, also gets really good reviews. Just like this is a proprietary brand of uh, Toman. And uh, I tell you, for the price, uh, that may be if if I end up getting another one or upgrading i might go with that they have some beautiful finishes but first things first you know let's we'll see if i can even play the the damn thing and really i mean the quality here is is better than i expected so i really may not have to do much or i may, I may just be happy with this for a long time I mean, there's no shame in it, Harley Benton. They're, they make good products. And I have never been uh, overly worried about what's on my headstock. I'm worried about how it sounds and how it plays. Actually, I like to get, you know, guitars and things that are sometimes off brands and, and make them my own. I like to upgrade we're almost done here. Man, it's a lot of strings. So like I said, I think straight out of the box, this would have been very playable anyway. I, you know, it seemed to be, it, it wasn't tuned, which was good, but um, I felt like, you know, it's it set up good. 
action looks you know pretty nice and low all right so let's see if i can tune this thing and figure out if i can get the intonation set if it even needs to be one thing i have noticed with guitars lately um everyone seems to get the intonation right from the factory it wasn't always the case so hopefully that's what's going to happen here because uh, it's going to be a challenge for me to, to intonate it and able to find the right 12th fret but I'll, i will get it figured out I'm going to tune strings, this, the four strings that I know first. So I'm going to tune this to D. That's because that's where rifle tunes. I'm just going to take my low string to it, an A, I think. Yeah, tuners seem to be doing okay. Well, we'll see. So this will be an A. Woo! <laughs> tuner to pick this up. Let's try it the old fashioned way. There we go. I may have to get a, a different tuner. I'm gonna get another tuner and I'll, I'll make sure. So let's see here. Man, it's hard to get. All right. I think this is mostly tuned. I'm gonna to have to put it on a, a uh, on a pedal. Um, let's see how straight the uh, the neck is now with some tension on it. Oh yeah, I mean it's completely flat now. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of relief, which is probably what I want with the fretless. Let's see. That's a flappy one. I might I think I'm gonna have to raise the action on that string just because uh, it is so low. Let's raise it just a little. It's also a heavier gauge string than it came with, so. Okay, so everything is strung up, um, in tune, I think. I, I need to um, run this through another tuner, um, a plug-in tuner, just it, it's hard for me to tune the slowest string. But uh, right now, I mean,
seems to be uh, seems to be playing well. I set the intonation as best I could. It seems to be fine. I am going to put the um, the cover back over the uh, truss rod, the truss rod area, and uh, well, then we're gonna plug it in and give it a sound test. All right, so this is it. My first time playing a fretless bass. It's all tuned up, I do believe. Passive mode. I have a blend here for the pickups. That's all the uh, the neck pickup, it's the bridge pickup. That's both. Um, some bass. So that's it, Harley Benton. Uh, I'm impressed. All right, so I lowered the pickups. They were just too high, especially with me being tuned so low. I think I found a good setting. Uh, I have it on passive. I have the pickup blend split even. I have the bass all the way up. I have the bass all the way up, the treble halfway up. Stayed in tune all night, so I'm really impressed. Uh, sounds good. I know this isn't gonna be great, just going through an external mic and coming out of my amp, but I am impressed with this bass. It's 
it's it's really nice. Um, I am no better at playing it yet, but I will get there. Whoops. <laughs> surprisingly nice the playability again is fantastic the neck is just super straight there's no um, no dead spots or anything that I can tell can't go wrong now I'm gonna learn how to play it please listen to rifle every day subscribe let me know what you think about fretless basses six string basses well any kind of basses and uh, you know in the comments please love one another rock on